<laughs> wait, wait, guys, guys. How about instead of Mardi Gras, we watch a sad movie about teenagers, huh? No. No. Perks of being a wallflower. And no, this is not the perks of being a wallflower, the Jacob Dylan story. Yeah, you're totally not trying to look like your dad. An introvert freshman is taken under the wings of two seniors who welcome him to the real world. The movie stars a transfer from Hogwarts, uh, Emma Stone, Hermione Potter. I will research this stuff. But speaking of copyright infringements, this movie also stars Logan Learman, who is in Percy Jackson and the impending lawsuit, with Ezra Miller as the effeminate best friend. Because no movie about high school ever had that in it. While this movie is great and moving, I do have a few bones to pick. It's always been a huge trend in movies to always focus on the outsiders with movies like, well, The Outsiders. But I guess those do well because they're more relatable, unlike last year's flop, The Tale of Jockey McJerkface. Also, why in all these unpopular geek movies do they pick attractive people for the lead roles? This is just like that remake of Revenge of the Nerds starring a 35-year-old Brad Pitt. Oh, and the movie is based in the early 90s, so they should be wearing Zumba pants and tracksuits. The movie tries to hit you over the head with how unique and geek chic the characters are by dropping cool hipster music references. Do you have a favorite band? Well, I think the Smiths are my favorite. Are you kidding? I love the Smiths. <laughs> Other than that, this movie is one of the best coming-of-age tales in recent years. It doesn't try to exaggerate or pander to teens, and it plays out like a new-age American graffiti, or something out of a John Hughes film, excluding Made in Manhattan. The acting is great, and the supporting cast is incredible, played by unknown newcomers Dylan McDermott, Joan Cusack, and Paul Rudd. Also, the movie takes on intense subject matter and goes dark from time to time. Just like the Super Bowl. <laughs> But congratulations to the Baltimore Raven Simones. Overall, this movie makes me nostalgic. And if I could describe my high school life in one movie, it would be Grease. Because of the acne. I give this movie two flat tires, one kick me sign, and half a swirly. Well guys, it's been an awesome review. I've had so many good times. And chilled with my bros and friends. But I gotta go. Stay strong. <laughs>